And this one I wrote to a woman. Her name is Ritu Sharma, who is the co-founder of Women's Thrive Worldwide, a nonprofit organization that seeks to give women tools to end, to, to end poverty. This is what I wrote here. It's entitled, Women Thrive Worldwide. Rita Sherma of Women Thrive Worldwide, I dedicate this poem to you. Escaping poverty is not a boy's novelty. To a girl, to his, this has always proven true. Trying to silence our world of violence, no woman should do individually. Ending her ills by developing her skills cannot be solved economically. Let's start with a fact, your Violence Against Women's Act which until now is pending in Congress. Though your act is very noble, their action is not very mobile. Do not go there if you ever want to make progress. We can, we can end mankind's hostility. I believe in you, now please believe in me. Risha, I really need you to understand. To create change, here's what you do. Don't look at her insult from a woman's point of view, but what results from the viewpoint of a man. The meaning of abuse to a lad is abstruse. I was taught this by my dad. Brutality was reality, like a video game fatality. To a boy, sad often leads to mad. The best explanation is better education. Knowledge is always a woman's best tool. This then should be followed by having positive role models. I will positively start with you. You see, no sane man would abuse a diamond or not see the value of a pearl. Of how much more is the value of your wife, your mom, or your little girl? Look, we all want to silence violence, protecting all women as well as every man. So if it starts with me, our future kids will see violence peacefully come to its end. Mm -hmm. um, it's spelled W-I-S-D-O-M. You fathers with thinking ability, please teach this poem to your son. Now listen to me and not your dictionary. Teach your son how to spell wisdom. Always start with your wife, and wife rhymes with life, never crossing her spiritual line of scrimmage. Because God created man, and from man became woman. Therefore, both of us were made in his image. Please acknowledge your sister, for when she marries, you will miss her. Her spoken word you heard flows like water. First, earn her respect. Learn never to reject the discernments of your daughter. She's your origin, your ancestry from industry. Her understanding withstanding is like no other. Divorced welfare, of course, is not fair. So how much more should he admire his mother? So besides her love and beauty, it is his loving duty for every father to teach this poem to his son. Wife, image, sister, daughter, origin, mother. This is how I was taught how to spell wisdom. My last poem is entitled, My Inner Home. Once upon a rhyme, in my life there was, a, there was a time when I decided to leave my world. I said goodbye to being alone and left my inner home, for it was time for me to meet that girl. You know, life's an interesting journey. Don't worry, I'm in no hurry. Yet I find her path an unusual course. She had a boyfriend, a fiance, was engaged anyway. I was now forced to accept her divorce. I wish I could let it be, still it does bother me mentally. Is she the only girl that can give me my joy? All my dreams, all my schemes, now I have to learn to redeem. It's she and me and her little baby boy. No, I am not that naive. In reality, I do believe. Yes, I really do love this girl, which is why she and I would be alone as I return to my inner home, 
where I'll rhyme once upon a time in my world. Thank you.